Okay, Shea Bear 1000 here guys. What we're going to do today, like I said, was we're going to change this light switch. We're going to put this one in here for Deuce, the second time. Now, why is that, babe? There's Monkey. Hi. <laughs> because that is, I had the wrong cord and my receiver into the camera mm -hmm. so I made this video and there was no sound so just for you guys yep, you wherever you're at oh by the way what how many times have you done that a lot but <laughs> this is the first time so I pulled out the new switch back out put the old one back in so I can do this again for you guys. So it was a practice run. Now this this switch is dead here. But this one still works, believe it or not. This is on the circuit to the bedroom across the hallway over there. Why it's not ran into this, I don't know. But some idiot did it that way instead of running it from here. But anyhow, so guys, all right, let's do this again. Okay. First, you take these screws out. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Monkey's watching because she wants to learn because it took her how long to do one one time? Five hours. But it was an old trailer and I had to put a new thing in an old trailer. It doesn't matter. It doesn't work. I'm putting a new thing in an old house. Well, it does work. It was really hard. And I did it myself, by myself, and I never done Look, it. Look, three wires is three wires, no matter what it's okay. in. I did it, and okay. I got it done. It only took five hours. Now, this one, guys, I want to show you something here. Once I get this out. Bruno? Leave him alone. We're making a video. He's biting my toes. Well, I don't want to be one of them people that their whole channel and whole life has to revolve around every time they want to show something they got to show their damn animal not that there's anything wrong with it it's just you know when i'm watching a how-to video i want to see how to do this thing not how to pet your dog properly or anything like that okay and here we go guys see two wires now this should have three there should be a ground that's the one that will have nothing on it no coating it'll just be a gold color it's copper it'll be that color there I that, had four. it will go into this okay try and teach something here and pay attention your ground will always go to this green one all right now as you can see this don't have a ground and there's a reason for that now the reason why I don't have one to begin with I couldn't tell you the reason why I don't have one right now is because I used the wire all my wire when I ran the fan. So I'll have to pick me up a four or five inch uh, ground. It's just right there's the ground up in there. You can't see it, but I can just tap into it right there and run my ground. But for now, this is what you do. But always hook your ground up. It's not going to make it work, <coughs> excuse me, any differently. What it does is for like lightning strikes and, you know, crap like that. So there you go. All right. Now that's how you take it out. This one has screws. Now this one also has screws in it, but as well, it has these little holes right here. Now what you what you can do with them is you just take them. Why are you stick them through the hole? So you don't have to dick with the screws. Oh, that's a lazy man's way. Yeah, she's calling me lazy. No, I'm not. Oops. Far from lazy. Yeah, I am. But. But what? All right, we'll do it your way. Okay, she wants to do this. No, I just wondered. You, I you can do it either way, guys. It's just a matter of preference. I like to stick them in the hole, but. But, uh, see, yeah. when you stick in the hole, you don't have all this. So, sticking out there. Is Which, it safer in the hole than it is over there? Does it matter? Well, if you do it right, it doesn't matter. But I, my, it's just my preference. And also, sometimes you don't have room to, you know, use these screws and whatnot. And 
I know. The one up there in the trailer, it, it was so small. It was really Okay, tight. that was in 1897, okay. Now we're here in this house and it's not hard. But like I said, and then, see they're in different spots on some of these, but see here's here's your ground. You would hook your ground up to that. So like I said, I will bring a piece of ground wire from work. I have that stuff because I do install uh, roof air conditioning units and things like that in some of them trailers as well. So now there's two holes here. There's one down here, one here that the other ones, the other screws came out of. Now we're going to put this in here and I'm just going to snug it up and I will have Monkey run in and flip that switch for me. And we'll check and make sure the light works. Which I'm damn sure it will because it's the second time I've did this in about 20 minutes here. Well, so, you be a pro now. if you would, it's the only one that's flipped off, hon. Yeah. Flip it on and hang on a second, okay? Flip it on and hang on, okay? I'll hang on. Well, don't forget which one it is. It's on the right fifth one down. I need to label them. That's a good idea too, guys. To label your your uh, your circuit breaker box so that way you just go in and. The only one that's flipped to the right, flip it to the, there, and it works. Okay, flip her back off for me. Okay, so there, it works. Now we can commence to tightening these up. And remember guys, these don't have to be super down and walking tight, but you don't want them loose. Because if you tight, over tighten them, they will like bend on you and like that now what i usually do is get it close just enough to where i can move it because these were all crooked um like i said i gotta pull this one out anyway so i'm not real worried about that one yet i gotta pull this out and change uh that switch so what we're gonna do see how it kind of looks straight but it's not so just kind of set that in there where you would want it and eyeball you can measure it if you if you're you know really that anal about things but which I am but I'm not going to measure it because if you measure it sometimes you know like this one might not be straight and you're measuring to that and then you look at the whole thing going wow that's off so what I do is eyeball it so that way we don't have an optical conclusion right monkey I guess so Okay, you guess so. And as you notice, I'm putting all my screws straight up and down. You don't have to do that, guys. I just do it because it's part of that that thing. Yeah, that thing. Now, this one, I'm going to adjust out a little bit. Until it's pretty much flat right here. See that? There's I don't like that. So... Did you have it flat before? No, I did not. <laughs> it bothered me to this day. I wasn't even here to bug you. Oh, you mean the first time I did this one? Yeah. Yeah, it was flat. You can watch the other video. You just can't hear me talking. So, but I did explain in the other one, which you won't, that, but we are going, the, we did do some clips on the bedroom closet. Um repair for the shelf and what do I got to do when I make that one honey uh, talk because somebody forgot to turn the mic on and so now he has to I have to overdub explain it. everything I have to narrate it guys narrate it the mic was on I had the mic in the mic wire for the lapel mic was in the headphone jack instead of in the input jack or whatever. Anyway, it wasn't right. Well, hopefully this time it's right. Well, we'll find out here in a minute. Well, it's fairly new, so you gotta get used to it. And you will. No, I don't have to get used to it. I've had these before. I just had the wrong cord in. Please stop for a minute. Video making time here. Got the 
got the thing hanging in his mouth. Okay. Well, like I said, I seen the zoo. We're here to learn how to do this. Now, see, that's pretty much straight and true. Except the screw is not right. For some reason, there. Oh. What's wrong with this screw? I don't know. Okay, there it is. That look good? Yep. Alright, go ahead and hit switch again. Make sure we didn't bump something. And this time you can leave it on. If it works. If it works. Let's see, guys. There we go. And it does work. See the light right there. All right, there we go, guys. Uh, another video for you. Bruno, please. Hey, hon. He's, I'm trying to make a video here, please. Anyway, guys, so... He can play with it in a minute. Okay, guys, so anyway, that's that's how you replace these switches. Um, we got this camera set up nice. Can you see that in there? You see that camera? Pretty wicked, isn't it? Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now, yes, this isn't our light, but this is not night vision. But uh, our other camera is night vision, so everything off of here I can use on the other one. So all I do is pull the hot shoe off, put it on the other camera. But this is a shotgun mic. The reason why I don't use it, like, in certain times, because it's a phenomenal mic. You know, i got to get the windsock for it. I lost it. It is a phenomenal mic, but um, if I'm standing behind it like this, you can't hear me as well because it, it sh actually shoots, you know, brings the sound in that way. But there's our our little setup on one of our cameras. So guys, so anyway, monkey, you still in here? Hopefully she learned something. But uh, anyway, this is a good good how-to video. A lot of people don't know how to do that, and that's fine if if you're comfortable with it. If you're, you're handy around the house and you're handy with yourself you can do these kind of things feel free to do it uh, the uh, receptacles pretty much the same way uh, a couple of wires Just make sure everything's shut off it's not really going to kill you but it will bite bite you and it could store fire it could you know if your circuit breaker malfunctions and doesn't shut off you walk away to you know go grab you a you know bottle of pop or something and, and you come back you know you got stuff smoking you just never know. Make sure it's shut off. Because one time I did, I had a, uh, in my house had it set. It was set up just like this, and I did not know that. And I replaced three receptacles, and they were live. I didn't realize it until I just started plugging things back in, and they were coming on. And I'm like, what the hell? Well, what happened was it was on another circuit, and I did not know that. Didn't get bit. I don't know how I got lucky. Didn't. No sparks, nothing. So just, if you're doing a receptacle... Make sure you plug something in. Make sure it's off. Make sure whatever you're working on, you know, is off. Does not work. Uh, just do your checks. You'll be all right. If you don't feel comfortable, call a friend, call a relative. A lot of people know how to do these, you know. Throw some shrimp on the bobby and uh, have a good time. You know, just hang out or but call an electrician. But it, it's it's easy, guys. You know, you seen it took a couple minutes. Well, this second time I had to do it. So, but anyway. Uh, I think monkey's tending to Bruno, so that she's not in here. I'll say monkey's out. But uh, again, guys, thanks. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Now remember, guys, if you comment, and it takes a couple days for us to get back to you, we didn't forget about you. We're not ignoring you. But you know, when we work through the day, you know, starting to get dark at five o'clock. Now I don't even get off until five, and then it's almost an hour drive home. And by the time we clean up, eat, and all that, you know, it's eight, eight thirty at night. It's kind of hard just to start doing things but we try to keep up on that so just be patient and if you subscribe to us we'll subscribe back so but just be patient guys and, and we'll get back with you and we appreciate all, all, all your comments and everything so again please comment rate and subscribe uh, love you guys you guys have a good week and with that I'm gonna say Shea Bear I'm gone thanks guys <laughs>